Hi everyone, firstly excuse my voice, I'm sick again and I sound like a man. I have no idea why I'm always getting sick but it is really really annoying. Anyway, today I thought I would make a video on the different types of ways people ask for gifts. Now, I am pretty sure that all of us have at some point been asked for gifts or greets or wishes or something by someone. And you have probably realised that they've all got a different way or an excuse for asking. So I have made a list of the different ways and types of people who ask for gifts. Now these are mostly based on real messages that I have been messaged and I didn't want to include people's names so I just kind of screenshot the message itself. There are a few examples I did make myself just for the sake of creating the example. But yeah this video is for comedy purposes and my intention was not to insult or upset anyone so please don't be insulted or upset by anything I say, it is just for a joke. It did take me a while to think of all the different types of messages and excuses, but I did take inspiration from my own messages. I probably haven't thought of everything, so if there's any you think I have missed out, then feel free to comment it below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. The normal one. This person gets straight to the point and asks you for a gift. The demanding caps lock warrior. Now this person doesn't even ask, they demand it from you and they write it in capital letters. The poor one. Now this person always includes the words, I'm poor. Hi, can I have a gift please? I'm so poor. The briber part one. This person tries to get you to gift them something by offering you something in return. Hi, if you gift me something I will auto you. The briber part two. Like the first briber, this briber also offers something in return, but generally it's something along the line of love. Gift me please, I will love you forever and ever and ever. The one that threatens you. This person threatens you if you do not give them a gift. Give me a gift or I will report you. The one that compliments you. This person disguises their ulterior motive in compliments. Hey, you're so beautiful, oh my god, can I have a gift? Maybe it will make me as pretty as you someday. The extremely polite one. There's polite and there's too polite, and this person is too polite. Good day, ma'am. I hope it isn't too much trouble for me to ask you, but please may you send me a gift. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Have a lovely day. The beggar. Please, 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 I beg you, give me a gift, please. The birthday boy or girl. Now it may or may not be this person's birthday but they do not hesitate to use this as an excuse to ask for gift. Hi, it's my birthday today, can I have a gift? The one that uses cancer. Hi, can you send me a gift please? I have cancer, it might make me feel better. Now I am 100 a million percent against people who use cancer to ask for gifts or anything like that, whether it is true or not. It is serious and a lot of people have suffered and died from cancer and to use that for the intention of getting gifts of people is actually quite sickening. Yet yeah, so many people still do it. The one with the lucky friends. Hi, all my friends have got gifts from you except for me. Please may I have a gift? The blackmailer. This person either chooses to blackmail you with something that's true or something that's completely false. Hi, give me a gift or I will reveal to everyone on YouTube your deepest, darkest secret that you are really a 75 year old man who is pretending to be a girl on a kid's game. The overly dramatic one. Now either this person's whole entire life is MSP or they have very little dreams compared to other people. Hi, may you give me a greet? It has always been my lifelong dream to receive a greet. It will make me the happiest person in the world if you fulfill this lifelong dream for me. XOXO. The one that has been hacked. This person may or may not have been hacked, but they use this as an excuse to ask for gifts. Hi, can you gift me? I got hacked and the hacker took all my stuff. The one that pretends to be somebody else. Hi, it's Mystery Girl. This is my backup. Can you gift me please? The one that wants a gift for somebody else. This person may actually be asking for somebody else or they are asking and pretending it's for somebody else when it is actually their other account. 
Hi, can you give my sister Linda Dolly a really nice dress, please? I want to surprise her. The one that lets you choose what to gift. Hi, can I have a gift or a wishy or a greet or a rare or a VIP ticket or a gift something? Your choice, which one you send. The hesitant one. Hi, um, hope you are well. Um, I was hoping that um, maybe um, you could send me a gift. It's okay if no. The one that doesn't usually ask. Hi, I don't usually ask for things, but please can I have that 50,000 star coin top, please? The one that hates you, but still wants gifts. I hate you, you're so ugly, You Give me a gift and I'll reconsider my opinion on you. The one who has been scammed. This person may or may not have been scammed. Can I have your duckies? Someone scammed mine. The new one. Can I have a gift? I'm new. The YouTuber. Gift for mail time. This person may not even be a real YouTuber. The one whose future is in your hands. I'm going to quit MSP but if you give me a gift I might stay. The one who is always asking. Now your messages with this person probably only consist of them asking for things. Not even a hi or a hello. Can I have a gift? Gift please. May you send me a gift? Can I have a gift? Please send me a gift. The one that wants to make a deal with you. Scammer, 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 scammer. Give me a gift and I'll stop. The one who messages the entire MSP community. This person asks for a gift and includes that they have sent it to everyone. It's not even in a group chat. So it's most likely it's a big fat lie. The persistent one. Can I have a gift? No. Okay. What about now? No. How about today? Hey, do you remember me? Can I have a gift please? This person will probably, most likely, never stop asking you for gifts. The one who doesn't understand the word no. Gift please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Stop asking. Only if you gift me. This person can get downright annoying. The one who wants you to prove yourself. If you're nice, then give me a gift. The inventory stalker. Can I have a femme hair? You have so many anyway, you don't need that many. Hashtag greedy much. The one who tries to make a convo but then can't be bothered. Hi, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Can I have a gift? The one who doesn't ask for much. Can I have a gift? Only one, if not much. The one who wants everything. Can I have a gift and a wishy and a greet and a golden ticket and a VIP code? Can I just have your entire life and your soul? The one who stops being rude because they realise you're giving away something they want, part one. Hate you, you're so ugly. Sorry I sent those when I was a noob. Can I have number eight on your giveaway? The one who stops being rude because they realise you're giving away something they want, part Two. Now, just like part one of this, this person has been rude to you but will not admit it was them. Instead, they will blame somebody else, whether it's a friend, a cousin, an auntie, an uncle, a sibling, whoever. Now, I suppose they could be telling the truth, but the fact that they are also asking for something shows that they probably aren't. The rude one. Oi, give me a gift. The one who wants sympathy. Hi, I have always entered your competitions and giveaways, but I haven't won anything, ever. It really upsets me. Please, can you send me a gift? One whose pet or relative has died. Hi, my pet donkey died. Can I have a gift in his memory? Now, just like the cancer one, I don't agree with people that use this or cancer as an excuse to get gifts. When you lose a relative or a pet, it is upsetting because I've been through that myself. And using that as an excuse to get gifts on MSP is actually disgusting. One who tells you their whole life story. Hi, I'm Ella and I'm 12. I have three sisters and no brothers, thank God. My BFF on my profile is my BFF in real life and my favourite colour is yellow. So may I have a yellow gift? Thanks. Now, I am sure there are so many more that I have probably missed out and forgotten about, but those are the ones I could think of. If you think I have missed any out, then feel free to comment them below. Or, if you feel like you are any of these people, 
then feel free to comment below. It's all for a bit of a laugh, nothing serious, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!